Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of SnowRunner and today we are doing a mod review on another Kenny. Now the one that I'm in is the first, well the last video that you watched if you watched it was the Kenny C500 and boy what a machine this is. Can't really see much with this blazing sun. I'm over here in Michigan again but without further ado I'm going to get the engine started on this. I'm going to jump into the cab view the handbrake off does help. I'm going to come around the corner and the one that we are reviewing today, well I'm reviewing, is this beast here. Now on first glance you'd think it was just a twin steer but boy it is not. Look at the size of that. That is just amazing. So without further ado let's change truck. Let's get this bad boy into the garage and see what it's all about. Here we are. Right, customizations, engines. I think it's pretty much going to be all the same. Upgrade, upgrade V2 and extreme. Let's get that extreme engine in there. Sell that one. Gearbox. I'm going to go with off road. No, I want the off road box and sell that box. Thank you very much. Suspension, ultimate. Tires. They're pretty much exactly the same as before. We've just got an extra set of wheels and an extra long back added to the back of this. We're going to go with the Boinia tyres on 65s. The same guy that actually created this mod of, and he's done a really good job with it. Winch wires, console. I'm going to go to frame add-ons and let's see if there's anything different in the frame add-ons. Right, we've got the heavy crane, the log carrier front, updated bunk log add-on, small cargo box, mod crane log lift. Uh, he's but various cranes. That's I think that's just a double. Uh, logging frame add-on again. Long sideboard bed which if I remember rightly that'll carry three slots we have the IM50 loading crane the MC9000 loading crane compact self-loading crane improved hydraulics for more lifting power uh, we have the LC38 big platform wow four slot cargo oh that will come in handy saddle high saddle low and his service tank that he had on the last one so I'm actually going to go with the service tank fill the crane and the crane goes in as well which is ideal now on his last mod on the original Kenny C500 there was a bit of a conflict when you had a trailer on so it'd be interesting to see whether or not oh we didn't do visuals it'd be interesting to see whether or not that same conflict still exists so rooftop beacons you know I don't like my beacons so they can disappear front bumper is stock which is already on there front side stock sun visors with beacons thank you very much get rid of that one rims the same rims as before color wise this one comes in green as a beginner one whereas the other one was red we have orange, blue, pink, yellow. It says black, but it's more of a, a slate grey. And obviously the red one from before. I'll go with yellow. And obviously decorations wise, we've got nothing there. So let's leave the garage. Let's fire it up. We'll take it for a quick sprint around Michigan. And then I will fly over some snowy weather and we'll take it around there this thing just looks absolutely menacing right trailers now they have taken the multi-slot trailer pack down which was the one that you bought for free basically and you could delete again whether they're coming back I'm not 100% certain at the moment so I did download the forest pack as you can see so we can stick 
pretty much anything on there. There's plenty of clearance for us not to hit that service thing. So, quick squint through. Six seat trailer. Yeah, let's put that on there. Uh, let's take this round and see what it does. Park it next to this original just to see how much length. Yeah, it's just the length of the an axle basically. So steering really, really good on it. It's not too fast, it's not too slow. I think he's got it dialed in pretty spot on. So I'm at conditions. I've got the off-road box on it, so it's not gonna be extremely fast but it's handling the tarmac really well so on road tyres like it stairs is excellent through the ditch not a problem at all high just keep chugging along usually about here it seems to slow down Pulling an empty trailer, so maybe I should have filled it up first to see what it's like on a load. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. It's through here really nicely. In cab view, I'm sure is exactly the same. Yeah, there's not much going on on the inside that was already on the other one. Really impressive, but this is Michigan, it's quite an easy map to get through. So we'll take it back up towards the garage now. I'll retain the vehicle, we'll flip over to the snowy area. We all know that we'll probably head towards Russia. Oh, I forgot I had it high there. without care in the world. A oh, little bit of a hiccup there, but nothing that you need to panic over. It's pulling this trailer really well as well. So fly back in now, get that trailer sold, I'll recover and we'll go over to Russia see what it's like in the snow. So, trailer store. Of course it's the one at the bottom. That's that one. Recover, retain. And we will go... Yeah, we'll go Ersk River. So yeah, uh, like I said, I did a review on its smaller brother uh, a couple of days ago. Saw this one pop up in the mod menu today. Uh, there's a couple of other mods in there that have popped up. So I'll do videos on them at a later date. So back to truck storage. Let's leave. Right, let's see how good it is with the snow and ice. And take the same course as I did with the other one to give it a fair review. Let's see how well it does. This is actually the first time I've taken this one out in the snow and ice. Didn't think it would uh, struggle there whatsoever. These boiling tyres that he's put on here, the ones that are his own doing, he's done a really good job. No issues so far. Do I dare say it's not taking much damage? Because we all know as soon as I say it. There it goes. There's the damage. But considering how fast we're going, such a low suspension. So it really is. 
a monster of a truck. And with that four cargo slot on the back as well, be ideal. And now that you've got the maintenance frame and you can have Cray pulling your trailers and stuff, it'll be a lot easier now. There was a bit of a conflict with its younger brother being able to get around. It says that there was a conflict with the trailer. So you'd have to take off the maintenance add-on. And I think on a couple of the trailers you'd have to take off the crane as well. So really is a nice looking truck this. Now is it going to be able to beat quad steer? No, I'm not too sure. We'll soon find out now as we try and get it through the snow. As we all know the quad steer just floats straight over the top. No issues whatsoever. So it is struggling a little bit. But nonetheless it is getting through. So, uh, one of the comments that was left on my other video, um, Adam Barksby, if you're listening, um, you said you'd like to see it go up Black Ice Slope. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got too used to this map, so I don't know if there is any Black Ice Slopes here. I think there is one or two scattered around that I might have passed. Um, but the easiest way of finding out if it does, download it for yourself and go and check it out. So I do recommend downloading this mod. It's once again it's around the 200 and something mark so Xbox One players you might have to delete like I said last time you might have to delete a mod or two but hopefully the RAM issues are not as bad as they used to be so All in all, this is really, really handling as well as you'd want it to. Come across any hiccups with it as of yet. So, guys, this has been my review of the new Kenny. C500 Twin Steer 10x10 to give it its full name. Great bet kit. Really, really impressed with how this is going. So, Onya, my cap is tilted to you, sir. You've done an amazing job. So, if you've liked this video, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, keep you updated on everything that I do release. Any comments that you have, pop them in the comment section down below. And I do try to get back to all of you as fast as humanly possible. In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay safe, take care of each other, and I will see you, hopefully, that's uh, soon on the next one. Bye for now.